What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing three different wireless CarPlay magic boxes. And these magic boxes are designed to work with cars that already have wired CarPlay. And if you're tired of using wired CarPlay, these boxes will allow you to use wireless CarPlay. But that's not the main magic of these AI boxes. These little magic boxes will allow you to stream videos on your OEM screen from YouTube, Netflix, and many other apps that you can find on Play Store. These three AI magic boxes are evenly priced at $130, and they're pretty similar with some key differences. So I'm gonna go through basic UI settings so you have a pretty good idea what you're getting. And I'm gonna time it how long it's gonna take for your phone to connect to this box. All right, let's get to the video. This here is the first magic box and is the thickest, the biggest one of all three of them. This is how thick it is. It's not that large at all. All three AI boxes come with a USB-C to USB-C cable and USB-A to USB-C cable. Unique thing about this box, this is the only magic box that will work with a Samsung phone. The other two will not work with a Samsung phone. So keep that in mind. This here is our second magic box. It's a little smaller, it's a lot thinner. So the second one is about the same surface area, but it's a lot thinner. And this AI box will not work with the Samsung phone. Here's our third AI box. This one is Magic Box Mini, and this is how tiny it is. And this here is their newest one. See how tiny it is? It's uh, almost twice smaller and it's just as thin. All three of these AI boxes have exactly the same features. They will all give you wireless CarPlay and Android Auto. All three of these magic boxes will allow you to stream YouTube, Netflix videos, and use whatever other apps are available in the Play Store. All three of these magic boxes allow you to use external SD card up to 128 gigs so you can store movies, music, and whatever else, and you can just stream it right onto your OEM screen. All three magic boxes have Android 11 operating system, quad core CPU, two gig RAM, 16 gig ROM, and two in 5G network capabilities. All right, let's plug them in and test them. We will take USB-A to USB-C provided cable, turn on our car, plug one end of this cable into magic box, other end into your CarPlay port, and wait for the AI box to connect. I can see the lights blinking. All right, AI box is connected. Perfect, and here's your AI box. This here is the home screen of this AI box. So you have your Play Store, YouTube, Files, Music, Netflix, TikTok, Hulu, Disney Plus. Let's try to connect to our phone. You would click this auto kit, go to Bluetooth settings, and you'll see T-Box Mini Basic. You press that, click pair, allow, use CarPlay. Now it's connecting to the phone via wireless connection. Bam, here's your wireless CarPlay. My phone is not connected in any way, but I have wireless CarPlay. I'll turn it off. Now we're gonna test and see how long it takes for the phone to connect to this box from the moment we start the car. All right, two seconds, three, four, five, Six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So far, it's just booting up the OEM system. All right, it's been 20 seconds. We don't see the AI box yet. And actually, I don't think it's going to automatically connect to this box. Once the box appears here, we have to select the CarPlay function. All right, it's taken a long time, 40 seconds, and we're just now getting into this powered by Android logo. All right, perfect. So it took us about 40 seconds to get to this home screen. This magic box is not gonna automatically initiate wireless CarPlay connection. We need to click this button, and now it's connecting to our phone. Let's see how long it takes for it to connect to the phone. All right, nine seconds. If you wanna go back to the home screen of this magic box, you have to click this little button and click home. In order for you to stream anything from YouTube or Netflix, you need to connect this AI box to Wi-Fi signal. And to do that, go to settings, Wi-Fi, enable Wi-Fi. Once you're gonna enable the Wi-Fi, you're gonna lose your wireless connection to your phone. 
I have connected to my garage Wi-Fi. You can see it's connected. Now I'm going to go back home, click this, click home. Now that I'm connected to my Wi-Fi, I'm going to go to my YouTube app. Bam, and I have full access to my YouTube app using your OEM screen. And this is the coolest thing ever because our kids love watching cartoons and we have two of them sitting in the back and we want to see what they're watching. So this is ideal for us. All right, let's move on to the next magic box. I'm going to unplug this and plug this magic box. I'm going to time this magic box how long it's going to take for it to get to the home screen. All right, three seconds, four seconds. I think last box took 40 seconds to get to the home screen. All right, so it's 20 seconds for the OEM screen to load. All right, we are 27 seconds and we saw Android logo should pop up. All right, we are 37 seconds, 30. All right, it's about the same. This box took 40 seconds to get to the screen and this box took 38 seconds. All right, we can see how home screen looks a little different. It has this side navigation bar. I guess it looks kind of cooler a little bit. Let's set up our CarPlay, go to your Bluetooth and connect to AI box. Bam, AI box. Pair, allow, it is connecting, use CarPlay. Great, you have wireless CarPlay, same thing. If you want to go to the home of this box, you click this thing. Now let's try to connect to YouTube. Wi-Fi, turn it on. Connect it to garage Wi-Fi. Let's go back to home screen. You have same access, Netflix, files, whatever else. I'm going to check out the YouTube. All right, here I am using YouTube app. Uh, it's about the same speed. I would say it's just as laggy. Uh, response is about the same as the first box. I wouldn't say this box is any faster. Play this video. And you can still use your steering wheel controls for volume and switching through different videos. You can switch to next video by using steering wheel controls. So that's really cool. This is the basics of it. Here are the settings. The settings menu looks identical to the first magic box. The biggest UI difference is this little navigation bar on the left hand side, which is kind of cool, but everything else is identical. Let's move on to our next magic box. Let's plug this little mini baby in. Bam. It's cool how small it is. You can take it and glue it here so you can't really see it, I guess. Let's time it and see how long it takes for it to get to the home screen. All right, we are at 18 seconds and we got to the OEM home screen. Now we are waiting for the box. Android logo, 28 seconds in. 40 seconds in and we got to the home screen. So the speed of this magic box and this magic box are about the same. So I would say this is the fastest one out of all of them. Let's connect to the wireless CarPlay. AI box. Pair, allow. So here's your wireless CarPlay as well. Home screen on this Magic Box Mini is identical to this Magic Box. It's pretty responsive, you know, when you're swiping left and right, it's not too laggy, so I like it. Here's the CarPlay boots right up no issues very nice all three of these magic boxes are really cool in my opinion and it's the coolest thing ever that you're able to use your oem screen to stream youtube and netflix videos our kids absolutely love this one big negative thing they are not very fast they're laggy when you're trying to hotspot off your phone and get to youtube app it will take you a solid minute to get to the video you want but once you get to the video you want and you're driving there's no lag it streams it pretty well no issues just bear with the fact that you have to get to the video you want to play and once it's streaming you're good you can switch back and forth no issues out of all three of them if you have a samsung phone i would recommend this one and if you don't have a samsung phone if you have an iphone or some other android phone i recommend this one
I hope you guys found this video helpful if you're doing some research and trying to decide what kind of magic box you should go with. I highly recommend this brand, ZHNN. It's fairly inexpensive, around $130 compared to some other brands that charge up to $300. These magic boxes work really well, no issues, no drops. And once you're gonna get one and connect it to your car and you're gonna start streaming YouTube videos, you're gonna be blown away. This is the coolest thing ever. And you also have access to wireless CarPlay. Thank you for your support. Like, subscribe, comment, share. May God bless you and until next time.